All right, it's February 10, 2019. Something that needs to be uh, realized, <clears throat> you know, noticed, healed, uh, made right in the uh, body of Christ is um, your ability to, to see, to hear, to perceive, uh, in a proper way, in spirit and in truth. Um, the first thing that the devil did to uh, mess the people up, he, he made them see wrongly. God had already made them to be able to see. They were good, perfect, whatever. So they, they could see. But then it said uh, when they... We're listening to, yielding to the enemy, obeying the devil. It said their eyes were opened. Well, what does that mean? They already had eyes and they could see and perceive already. The eyes of even their understanding was, was great and accurate. So interaction with the enemy <clears throat> gave them a wrong kind of seeing and perceiving. Uh, said their their. Eyes, their their understanding was darkened. Their natural eyes and their understanding eyes, perception, their understanding was darkened. Darkness blinded their eyes. It says also in First John. So they began to perceive wrongly. And then they perceived, understood, perceived each other wrongly, and they understood and perceived God wrongly because they hid from God. And then they started to try to save themselves, provide their own righteousness with religion, fig leaves. <clears throat> um, people all over the world are trying to save themselves with dead religion and tradition, dead even... Of course, all the pagan religions, but and, and and occult things and all that. But even the dead Christian religions, that are forms of godliness that deny the power of God, and then uh, traditions of men that make the word of God of no effect, and all that. And it's, just, and it's just many such things. So anyway, um, that shows that you perceive God and people and life. How does life work? What is the truth? You're supposed to live in spirit and in truth. That means living by the Holy Spirit, those who are led by the Spirit of God are the sons of God, and in truth, <clears throat> spirit of truth, which is the Holy Spirit and the, you know, the Word of God. You need the Logos, yeah, w written Word, but you also need the Rhema, Holy Spirit Word He reveals to you in, in your, your heart, your mind, your inner man. It's like a prophetic word or it's an understanding that God gives you. You need both. If you just only go by the written word, you will become a Pharisee, Sadducee, scribe. Uh, you'd be no different than a Islamist or something. Um, <clears throat> you know, you look, they're all in the same boat. The cessationists, Catholics, Pharisees, Sadducees, Islamists, scribes. Uh, the Judaism followers, they go by this written word. And you mean, you're full of the devil. Led by the, look, the, the devil preached or was trying to teach the word to Jesus over there in Matthew 4, Luke 4. The devil says, it is written, it is written, it's written, it is written, it is written. He quotes scripture better than you. He knows that Bible, uh, the logos, and the demons, many religious demons and doctor, demons that teach doctrine, uh, not only the devil, but some of his religious demons, they know that Bible backwards and forwards. They quote the whole thing. Um, <clears throat> that's not good enough. The written word is very important, but it's a seed. To, for what? To go in your eyes, your ears, go down in your mind and heart and grow. Grow what? The life of Jesus, like Mary. She received the word, and she grew and nurtured and brought forth uh, Jesus. So for you, yeah, of course, read the word, listen to it, hear it, 
teach and preach and that's accurate, that's great, it's important. Read it for yourself, if you can read. Most people on earth cannot read. All you first world western people, most of you don't even know that. <laughs> you live in your ignorance and isolation. You don't know that most people on earth cannot read. And most of the unreached people groups, which is in the over 2 billion, probably closer to 3 billion, B, B like baseball, billion, most of them, they don't have uh, any Bible in their languages, especially when you get down in the, the lesser uh, languages and then you get into dialects, there's, there's not one sentence of the Bible translated in their languages and dialects. But that's another story, never mind. <clears throat> well, anyway, to reach those people, you got to go over there and speak to them. And then let the Holy Spirit move through you and with you and confirm if you taught truth and accurate truth, the gospel and prophetic teaching and preaching, then let the Holy Spirit come along with you and confirm your word with signs and wonders and miracles, like it says in Mark 16, and Acts and the whole thing. I mean, uh, listen, if you don't believe that you, it is vital for you to have signs and wonders and miracles by the of the Holy Ghost and the power of God, healings, cast out demons. First Corinthians chapter twelve, also the gifts of the Spirit working through you and with you. Then you are wrong, because uh, you can't prove your gospel or anything you say about the Bible or Jesus, or you can't prove it. I mean, if you're out there in the remote parts of jungles of Indonesia or the deserts of India or the Himalayas or wherever, middle of Africa, whatever, wherever you're at, out there, uh, and you, you tell them, you know, you, you read the Bible, you quote the word, tell them Jesus is the only way, Jesus is the Son of God, you can't prove it. They'll just look at you and in some places they'll stone you and kill you for saying that, put you in jail, beat you, just shoot you on the spot. Where I used to live, that's what that's what they do to you because it's illegal in certain areas. And where I used to live for 12 years in Indonesia and India, for, to go out there and say Jesus is Lord and he's the only way, in certain of them provinces and sultanates and um, other uh, fanatic Hindu regions, um, they'll kill you for that. To them, it's bl blasphemy. Uh, there's blasphemy laws where, um, and then just in the regional mindset, you go out there and say that they'll kill you and they kill people all the time over there. So it's not enough just to have your stupid head knowledge and your logos. So you have to let the Holy spirit back you up with miracles and signs and wonders now, because that's what the way Jesus did it. And that's the way they did it in the book of Acts. And that's what he commanded you to do. Uh, real true believers, uh, you shall receive power from the Holy Spirit to be a true, accurate witness of Jesus. Amen. What? Heal the sick, cast out devils, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, freely you receive, freely give. Hello. What are the names of God? The healer. God of great prosperity and abundance. Um, healing, deliverance, all righteousness. You know, do a study on the names of God. You know, Jehovah Jireh, Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Shalom, you know, all those things, you know, go, go and learn that and go and learn what it's salvation means in original Hebrew language, Bible text and the Greek over there in New Testament. Everything that it means is what Jesus suffered and died and raised from the dead to purchase for us. If you're a believer and you covenant with him, that is what he wants you to have. And then you are to walk in it and live it. And be a living epistle read of all men. Your life should, they should look at you and say, wow, healing, deliverance, prosperity, power, awesome, wow, favor, greatness, righteousness. Wow, this person's secure. They know they're accepted. Let, how, let me see, you know what I'm saying? Stable, great, powerful. Not only your words, your life, you know. You must show in every part of you the salvation of God. You must live it. It's not enough to say it. I, I see people all over America, all over the world, preach and teach the word, but they're poor. They got a junky car or no car or they're sick, health problems, up and down life, up and down, up and down, up and down. Uh, you know, just strife, sin, problems, confusion, arguing, fighting, 
um, under the curses, they haven't uprooted the curses with the crowbar of the gospel in the name of Jesus, the Holy Ghost, and fire, and legally take the name of Jesus and the authority that you get when you're born again and you covenant with Jesus and fill with the Holy Ghost of fire and have power and authority, legal, uh, dunamis, and exousia, then you can um, legally remove those things out of your life and other people. But uh, Ezra, Nehemiah, Daniel, John the Baptist, and James chapter 5, 16 says, confess sins, iniquities, all the junk, bad stuff, um, fears, anger, offense, every ungodly thing. Confess one to another, not just you and God over there by yourself, the 